Alright. Here go another one. Yeah, I have to, you know, I'm not stretching to make a connection. But yeah. Alright, well, first of all, let me show that other video. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I, you know, I get there, I go on, what's her name, YouTube. Alright, now that video, what happened was... So anyway, as I'm walking over this way to my car... The guy, I thought I was recording. That's the first time I, you know, I held, I, I thought I pushed record. But, uh, and he literally, like, say this is his cut truck. He drove right by me, you know, with his window down. And I would have I would have got him on video. Because I guess he was trying to be tough. He heard me talking because, you know, I was right, like, basically, like, where that car is, you know, standing behind him recording. And he could hear me because, like I said, he, he the one talking about, oh, if we can go to work. I'm like, why the fuck can't you go to work, nigga? Why can't, like, I got to go to work today in a couple of hours. Why can't you go to work? Because I went to work. or Because I, I do the job. Like I said, I, I don't consider it working hard. I just can't stand sitting around. I've, I've been noticed that since I got out in the military. I, I just hate them little jobs where niggas, you know, they literally in one spot sweeping for for two hours. You know, trying to, you know, and, and the, the the dude in charge is like, how could you let him just sit there? I mean, if I, really, if it was me, I'd be like, hey man, just sit down somewhere, just out of sight, you know, until till five o'clock, if, if if it's like that. But I I couldn't be, uh, you know, uh, find something to do, find you know this or that, or you know, other than that, I, I honestly clock out. I'm like, nah, man, I just go. I don't need it like that, you know. That's crackhead. That's crackhead shit. You're a crackhead, you know. You just need that little bit of money. You know, you say, I sweep, boss. I sweep up, boss. And you just swept it. It's clean as hell. Ain't no dirt. No microscopic dirt is gone. You just swept all that shit. It's like, no, man. Fuck it. I, I, ain't nothing left to do. Then why you hire three of us, you know, you know, temps? Fuck it. You got too many. You can't add. You don't know your job, you should have known how many extra helpers you needed. And, if, you know, some guys are cool, you know, because we might got to wait for the truck, but he wanted us to make sure that we're there, so we, he have us get there at 8, but the truck ain't getting there till 10. And I had that before. They literally, God, y'all just be somewhere where I can find you at 10. You know, don't leave. Basically, he's saying, don't leave. Don't go home. Or, you know, just, you know, we all, like, shit, fine. You know, sit out in your car or sit on the back, you know, on the wall in the back, smoke cigarettes. Shit like that. But everybody ain't like that. So, anyway, these stupid motherfuckers, they still thinking they, it, 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 it'll fucking lead. In my league, and seriously, now, now it's just really time to just put them in their place. Like, the last night, just like the dude, the little young dude, he's young, you know, had the little Bart Simpson, not Bart Simpson, side so Bob, that new hair dude they all got, that hanging hair, the hanging shit, you know, light skinned dude. I ain't care, he's light skinned, I just, you know, that's his old school. Some of my best friends, like white people, some of my best friends are black. Some, no, but literally, some of my best friends are light skinned and relatives. But, <laughs> oh, you know how we talk shit, these light skinned ass, he talking shit, nigga. So, uh, but but just historically, y'all aren't tough guys. You know, some of you are. I know some that's some real killers, literally. But but you ain't that. You you definitely not. You know, you not on our side. <laughs> but uh uh. So yeah, cause I looked at his face when I walked by. First, I you know I didn't know he was gonna say anything. I'm getting on work. I walked by, you know, he's sitting in the driver's seat. He said, yeah, he, I think he said watch your back or something like that. It didn't bother me. I knew he was a gangster. I knew he was talking to me. I knew that's why I didn't bother. He's a gangster. I'm not, you know, this ain't no old school shit with somebody that I didn't did some or one of my homies you know, on my team didn't did some. And they know who I am. You know, watch your back, nigga. You know, Dennis. Oh, shit. These niggas, you know, I'm caught slipping. My car over there. And I ain't got, you know, I got to make it back to the car. I'm fucked. But so I was like, what, nigga? So I just stood there, you know, waiting for him to keep talking. It, it's, but that's what I'm talking about, how to get them brainwashed. Like, they want them dead. They, it's like they really want them dead. They don't know 
Because each time is someone different. It's not the same gang stalkers. Because the people I see every day, they're, they're nothing like that. You know, I know they're part of the program too, but they're, they're like levels one as far as gang stalker activity. They, they really just doing the job. They're not, you know, if they mad, they don't, they just don't talk to me, you know, but they don't, they're not, they don't say anything. They don't, they just stay out my way. And really, because like I said, we're there to help them. So they're like, they're not stupid. Like, uh, yeah, they don't get in there. You know, let them do they, let them do his thing. You know, this, let's work. With, like I said, they're overwhelmed. They normally don't even have tips. It's the first time. I'm, I'm talking about at this company. So anyway, the 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 the, the light skin nigga, he uh. So with uh, coming out, he still want to talk. He now he stuff. If we can go to work. And then he says that louder when I get like right past where the dark, where the second door would be. I yeah, like I was supposed to stop and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I won't go to." Or I was supposed to acknowledge him. Yeah, he says it again, you know, because he was talking to another. I walked right by the other dude. He ain't say nothing, you know. Got his head down. It's like nigga, I could punch you dead in your fucking face and break your goddamn nose. <laughs> Seriously, he was literally sitting there. Out. That's how close I was. The door was right here to the store. You see it in the video. He just was gone. He had pulled out. That's why I started a new video. I ain't know it wasn't recorded. I was like, nigga, I can't just get a bip. <laughs> Stupid. What the fuck is what? These motherfuckers crazy. Stupid. Got to be. He too young to be a crack. Well, maybe he is a crackhead. I don't know. Nowadays, these motherfuckers, you know, they're on drugs. And so, you know, I, I, I guess I was nice and just pulled out my phone and started making fun of this stupid ass. Hey, this nigga's stupid. Why the fuck you a grown man? You can't work because another man goes to work at another place that you don't even work at. You don't even work there. It's, I guess we, but you know, I thought about it. I thought about it. Remember I told y'all the other dude on Monday, the 7 o'clock shift, he got jumped on on the way to work on the, on the light rail. You know, he said he said it's the blue line. I don't know. Maybe it was the reason he said the blue line. But, so they, but I'm like, so two. He said two young dudes had jumped on him. You know, what I'm saying, they had pistol whipped him. And he's like, man, you don't see the brute. You know, he pointing to his eyes. He's like, really? He wasn't that bruised up, but he did have a little red spot in the corner of his eye. That blood clot. He had that little spot. It did. Uh, he uh. You know, you can tell, I guess, he, and he had a bandage on top of his head, I guess, where they bust him with the pistol. And he, because I think what happened is they, they knew he was, I don't know, the, you know, he, because he said he had steel toe, because by now, everybody know, because they're gang stalkers. So the temp people know they don't have to wear steel toes. And they know that I wear mine on purpose because they brand new. I'm trying to break it. They're orthopedic. They like 150 for them, man. Like I said, they they do feel amazing. <laughs> Way better than sneakers on your feet all day in sneakers. I've been on the job, you know, with Nike, expensive Nikes on. Your feet still fucked up, you know. And your back, your lower back. But this shit really, the, the, the commercials are true. This shit really work. You, treat, you do have it. That's what they get so mad about, too. Cause I got my, now, but, see, I literally told them that. The first day I got there, I was laughing and joking. I said, shit, it's like... I could hear, like, if, if my homeboys were here, they would tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> because I'm talking about these shoes so much. You know, how great they are. Like, damn, nigga, shut the fuck up. All right, we get it. It's like, I could hear it. Hear them talking. And, you know, they, they didn't really catch the joke, but they, they understood. It. Like, ah, I be it. But, you know, probably because they're gang stalkers. And they were, you know, if they were normal people, they would have laughed. But, you know, they, they did. You know, I guess this was off, off, uh, script for him you know me saying that so anyway the uh the fuck nigga the light-skinned fuck nigga <laughs> he was talking so i was like bitch what but i guess this you know maybe i don't know maybe they are getting jumped on for, for i guess because the what i'm saying is the the was some kind of spell or some kind of token him taking bringing uh, 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 a reflector vest. You know, we wear the reflector vest when we're at a construction site, whether it's daytime. You know, like, like if I was, like they had some uh, guys right there the other day doing uh, flagging, stopping, stopping traffic Tuesday. But they don't need them every day. You know, only when they're gonna have to be kind of blocking the street. And you gotta wear, 
So he was like, I, but he know this job, you really don't need a reflect. Why, so why are you bring a reflector vest? Now the steel toe, it still does say in the job requirement, steel toe, but nobody there wears steel toe. Nobody, permanent employees, everybody got on sneakers. The, the, the guys in the office, you know, they got khakis and sneakers. Everybody has, you know, the girls, everybody's in sneakers. But the guy, so it, I wouldn't have seen it. I wouldn't have seen it, but it's more like some, some kind of, like a token of magic spell that carrying that, mocking me, but I wouldn't have seen it. And he wouldn't have had them on. He wouldn't have worn them. He would have had kept it. He had on Nikes. He would have had his Nikes on. Uh, you know. Yeah, he, he once he got there and saw everybody else's sneakers, he would he would have left it. But he he's a gang stalker, so he knew he knows. You know. That's first thing all the new temps mention is sneakers. You know, and this and that, and it's because it's, it's really just because of. Like I said, I I kept I keep wearing. Them. I don't bring in my uh, I don't wear sneakers in there. I got a pair in my car, you know, but. And I, you know, obviously I got a whole bunch in in, in there, but I, I don't wear them. You know, I just wear the boots because they're more comfortable. Like I said, even though they're steel toe, they're, they're more comfortable. Heavy duty boots, but the way, you know, they got all that, not just cushion. It's not just, yeah, them boots with cushion, you know. It's one of them, like the commercial says, it got all, uh, it got all this, uh, you know, orthopedic stuff where they, I guess they did, you know, studied feet. And all this and that shit, so it gives you the correct posture. So it's not just padding and shit like that. It's actual orthopedic shit. So uh, then uh, the thing is, they he know that. And so, but they he said they took the book bag. They took the book bag from him with his supplies, his boots, and all that shit, and his vest. You know, he's saying it like you know they ain't getting no money, and yada yada yada. But. You know, even at that point, you know, so a lot of times in the years, even before I learned what gang stalking was, people at work would say something and it would, I would think, you know, it's, you know, I don't know, it's almost like from God punishment to them and because they, they, it's like they wanted me to know or either not just punishment, but they wanted me to know like more witchcraft, like they're blaming me, like they were put, trying to put a spell on me and like they realized it, uh, it backfired. They they don't believe in God, but they they think it's somehow my fault that 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 you know it was like I one one guy his daughter died, you know and he was a supervisor and then I don't know it's just like they wanted me to know and I really had been working there, this was years ago like over ten years ago, probably even longer than that. So anyway, but now it's like they they literally getting you know like I don't I I'm not take you know egotistical enough to take credit like that they're like this mother going around literally jumping on them because they know they come in to harass me at work i don't know but he sure wanted me to know but it could it could be just that uh uh you know he he he's more like it's it's my you know he wants me to he, his life is hard because he stays in a hotel he needed the money for his, his room fare and all and then first of all i was like what you doing on the weekend Cause even though we're making pretty good money here, you know, unless you uh, budget your money right, and really that was his first day. So what you do on Saturday and Sunday to pay your room fare? You know, and like I said, we're not cold. <laughs> just y'all nasty and evil, and y'all still don't get it. All right, so now I gotta go back to. Uh, Y'all still just won't learn, just want to keep getting, it'd be, you could be a bum, nobody gives a fuck, but stop saying it's our fault, and we're doing things to make you look bad, we, we you know, we're working, we're doing the things we do to make you look bad, no bitch, that's just how we do things, that's how I get, we get through the day, it makes the day disappear, you know, it's like you're in the zone, but instead of like an athlete, you're in the zone for 30 minutes, it's 8 hours, or 10 hours, or sometimes 12 hours. You know, I'm not thinking. We're not thinking about you. We're just moving, moving. And y'all coming. Oh, I'm tired. I'm sleeping. Oh, it's on you. Should have went to sleep, nigga. You know you had to get up. You know we all had our days too. You know, shit. When I was in the army, a lot of times when we was in the rear, we weren't in the field. Shit, I, I was, you know, out. But even that, had, I was still when I was still young, 22, 21. 
had to cut that shit out, you know, because you just couldn't hang out. You know, at first you could hang out all night and go back to base at, at about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and get up at 6.30 and run, well, before 6.30 and run miles and work all day, you know, for eight hours and do it again that night. You know, there was somewhere to go every night around Fort Bragg. Clubs were packed, but after a while, shit, I'm going to sleep, man. <laughs> you know, you just got to hang it up because you know you're going to be tired all day, and you, you, you know. It ain't just the military. You just can't be on a regular job tired all day. Like, nah, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I, I check y'all Saturday. You know, you, you was hanging out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, happy hours all the way to two. But shit, not no more. You know, you, and if you, well, I, 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 uh, you know, I'm homeless. I got to stay in the hotel. Hey, like we was, I was, we was talking yesterday. Both of them, the replacement, the two new people, both of them have been through programs, the girl and the dude. You know, and she was telling me about how a lot of them are, you know, bullshit, and which I know because, you know, there's a lot of black women and, you know, working for the city, you know, working at the human resources. She was like, yeah, she went through the program. They just gave her $300 after she completed it. But there's other programs, you know, this and that, you know, they help you get a job and an apartment. But, you know, she's working now and this and that. And the other dude, you know, he, he, he said the same thing. And like I was telling him, you know, the, the, the home, men's homeless shelter is like five minutes from here. You know, by car. And, but but walking is like, a, you know, a probably 30-minute walk, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, I got to do it. I'm going to start another video. Then I got to go. So I got to get ready.